Welcome to Lagrange Auto Repair and Pet Supply. Can I change your oil or your litter? Maybe on the way out? I'm here to see the doctor. Do you have an appointment? Yes, rescheduled from last Thursday. Because of the rainstorm? No, it was raining in Berlin, but it was sunny here in Sacramento. Impressive. You know, I've never worked with such a professional gatekeeper before. Thank you. Round two. Skip, amazing to see you. Dr. LaGrange, please don't use my real name. Oh, man. Skip, Granger. We've got Granger here. Relax, Paolo. There's nobody here except my security guy. I have a name, you know. I thought you were running an off-license veterinary clinic. Bull am I ever. Come on, it's in the back. I can't wait to show you all the crazy stuff I'm doing. But he didn't do round two. Dr. Lagrange, your message said you had made an important breakthrough. Oh, yeah, sure. But I also did this. Polywaddle lobotomy. What? Polywaddle lobotomy. I thought you were a chemist, not a geneticist. What can I say? I dabble. And she, like, broke my conditioning? Oh, Lex! Oh, right. I de-brainwashed her. It's amazing what the right combination of hit singles and freesound.org downloads can do. This is game-changing! We could free the world from the Admiral's control! Dr. Lagrange, with Lex's help, could you convert your deprogramming technique into a broadcast-ready signal? AM, FM, shortwave, Sirius XM, easy peasy. Great. Lex, could you build a new Model X quantum computer, like the one the Admiral used to brainwash half the planet? Like, if I had six months and wasn't working out of a veterinarian's office. Do what you can, as quickly as you can. Now, excuse me, I've got to make a call. I told you. You only ever get to call me once for emergencies. I hope this one's worth it. The end game is in sight, Muldrake. Oh boy. If you can help us rebuild the Model X, we can send a signal out to deprogram the world. All I need... My resources is- are not unlimited, Granger. And I seem to recall paying for six hundred thousand dollars worth of destroyed amazon goods from your last assignment but there are catastrophic events on the horizon so stay on target but isn't this the moment we've been working towards reversing the admiral's grip on the world there are bigger fish to fry now hang on the line i'm trusting you with a vital new mission Okay. Good morning, Agent Granger. A black market statuette of the Greek god Neptune has long been missing from the Smithsonian Institute. Carved from a deep space meteorite. Hey, Baka, did you want to see the other brainwashed guy you brought in? Uh, Joe the Plumber? Were you able to clear him as well? Yeah, he's doing great. Look. Dixon, please. Dixon, please. I thought you said he was doing great. For a Labradoodle, he's doing amazing. Mission Rejected, the story of the world's most secret agents, The Backups. Tonight's episode, The Hunt for Tope November. And I know you could use more help on those secret spy missions of yours. He's so excited, it's all he talks about anymore. Mr. and Mrs. Hooper, I appreciate your help and discretion, and there's something urgent I need to discuss with you. We're ready. I wanted to warn you that... I may be moving out. What? I'm afraid my roommate situation has become untenable. So, uh, you'll both be moving out? No, no, I'll go. McGrath doesn't have anywhere else. Uh, How bad could it be? Mrs. Hooper has tried to kill me multiple times, and just look at us. Stay, you're such good friends. She is my best friend, and I need to save that friendship by giving her space. Let us in, Skip. Oh, jeez, that's the team with Sandy Bottoms. Sandy Bottoms? Yes. Why? Uh, (laughs) We had a dog named Sandy Bottoms. Yes. Yep. He can't know you were here. Please, leave by the fire escape. Well, wait a minute, son. Don't do anything hasty like push us out the window. (laughs) Passcodes. How did 007 feel after the earthquake? Shaken, not stirred. Come in, everyone. Mr. Bottoms, sir. Thank you for sending your team to collect me, Agent. You would have arrived sooner, but you're... Flatmate needed to make an urgent pickup. Ooh, come to mama. Is that tahini? Yep. Somebody. 
forgot it in this week's grocery order. Well, last week, somebody else forgot my extra plain yogurt. I can't even wrap my head around how anyone can live with no tahini in the house. Oh, Remember God. when we thought we had problems? They're the Benson and Stabler of the spy world. Are you eating it right out of the jar? Damn straight. I... Okay. It's fine. What? Agent Bottoms, I prepared the briefing on Muldrake's latest information about the Admiral's activity, and I'd like your input. Please. Tahini? No. Uh, thank you. Security? Dampener on. You're looking at a statue of the god Neptune, carved from a billion-year-old meteorite that went missing from the Smithsonian Institute in 1952. Black market art dealers have long sought it, and now the Admiral may be after it. May I suggest a course of action, old chap? I, uh, wow, already? I haven't even gotten to the plan yet. Very well. Agent Bottoms, what do you suggest? Oh, oh. stop dallying about with this Muldrake character and his ridiculous little outings. Hey, Muldrake's information has proven good time and time again. They knew about the Admiral's plans to bring down the mountain in Switzerland. They got us access to the Ocean Bureau base in Mellencamp. And the Swedish rabbits? We're of vital importance. Somehow. Agent Bottoms, to be fair, we have very few allies right now. And it's like Skip said, Muldrake has been a team player so far. Then why, Miss Kovac, Mr. Moncrief, would he try to keep you apart by intercepting your messages to each other? How did you know about that? Surely it's occurred to you both that if someone made sure that your communiques went astray, there's only one obvious suspect. Well, I always assumed it was Alexis Bladell. She's always had it in for me. Agent Granger, have you summoned me here to help you stop the Admiral? Or to help Reynard Muldrake rescue mid-century modern kitsch. The projector is yours. As you discovered, the Admiral's seaside chat broadcast can't be traced to a singular origin point. Whenever we triangulate a location, he's already gone. However, thanks to the assistance of Zelda's dear wife Pat and some very clandestine work done by a CIA MI6 joint task force, we've narrowed his location down. The Mississippi River? You did it! He's moving upstream. We'll be just outside Minneapolis-St. Paul in time for tomorrow's broadcast. Ah, oh, the muddy Mississippi. I once spent six months doing an abridged production of Guys and Dolls on a casino boat. The 11 o'clock show got the little blue. I doubt the Admiral is on a casino boat. Why not? He was on a goddamn cruise ship last time. McGrath has a point. The Admiral controls half the world's population. It can't be hard for him to move freely or publicly. There are still enough of us in positions of power to strike against him if he were to... surface, if you take my meaning. Wait, are you saying he's on a submarine? That's our working theory, yes. There aren't many outlets from the Mississippi that a sub could travel through, particularly near Minneapolis. Why would he lock himself in? Of course! Locks and dams! Minneapolis is full of them! <gasps> Did you also have the boy's big book of dams? No, I was an out-out dam lock, a fundraiser for the Mississippi River Shakespeare and Dam Appreciation Society. There are 27 locks and dams along the Mississippi, keeping the mighty river at bay. Now imagine if all 27 dams and every levee, lock, and retaining wall were to blow at the same time. There would be a flood of near-biblical proportions. Exactly the sort of scheme the Admiral would pull, turning the American Midwest into an ocean. I mean, what could be more oceanologist than that? The Admiral has brainwashed a large number of the Army Corps of Engineers who maintain those dams. He need but give the word in one of his seaside chats, and any soldier under his power could wreak havoc. Then why hasn't he done it already? Maybe he can't. He controls 50% of the world, not 100%. If we were at a dam control and you tried to blow it up, I'd stop you. He needs something foolproof. Oh my god. You think he's got another Model X, don't you? <gasps> Then he could just broadcast his plan directly into the heads of any receptive person. Correct. Our intelligence tells us that he has a new and improved Model X. A Model Y, as it were. This is why we need you to pursue and destroy the Admiral's submarine. No. <gasps> Sorry, what? old chap. Did you say no? We're not going to destroy the ship. We're going to board it. We're going to seize control of this new device, upload Dr. Lagrange's deprogramming signal into it, and blanket the world with it. Oh, hell yeah. And undo the Admiral's brainwashing for good. And his reign of terror. And home in time for RuPaul's Drag Race. Granger, if you fail, the Admiral will flood the Midwest. We must eliminate him now. We can broadcast your deprogramming signal at the appropriate time. We already know it won't work on a global scale without a quantum computer. And he's got one on that sub. Agent Bottoms, I appreciate your help, but this is the Extraordinary Missions Force. It's time for us to do something extraordinary. As you wish. 
To be clear, Granger, my government will be watching you. Once you locate the Admiral, they will take action to sink him. I can only hold them off for an hour at most, so be quick about it. Understood. Is there anything else that I can do? Uh, you got a submarine you want to lend us? Sorry, old chap. Not a problem. I'll just call Philippe. He collects submarines. McGrath, you could blow our cover! Oh, and you haven't talked to Lady Brentwood Carlson Higgs or whatever her name is. Tanya Martin Edwards Bainbridge? UK National Ski Team? Talk? <laughs> no. The inbox of chicken stars 247 at yahoo.com tells a different story. I... Let's not argue. Okay. I'll hop a flight home and set the wheels in motion. All right, team. Mission prep time. Let's review standard naval protocols. Yes. Uh, uh, follow me to the public library. Come on, let's go. Uh, this is a disaster. Granger's moving out and taking Muldrake and our shot at the Admiral with him. And I couldn't hear a word of what their plan is. I've got a contact who might be able to find out where they're headed. Don't you bother. Mr. Hooper has an inside man. Hello, Mr. Hooper. Granger's talking toilet. I made some special upgrades. I hear everything. Oh. Okay, toilet, start talking. Thank you, loyal ocean lovers, for tuning in once again to the wit and wisdom of our beloved leader. Join us again tomorrow for more of the toast with the most, the fin with the swim, the trout with the gout, the geeter with the heater, the trucker with... All right, all right, that's enough. See you next time, children of the ocean. And we're out. How dare you? No one cuts off Balthazar Moncrief mid-oration. Balthazar, I think I'd like Lucky to do my introduction tomorrow. Jeepers! My talents are being wasted on this beleaguered broadcast. Have you even considered my pitch for a new series? Balthazar Below Decks. Uh, No. (sighs) Everyone back to your posts. We have preparations to make. Aye, aye, Admiral, sir. I will not endure these constant orders. Do you take me for one of your sailors? Do you think you're still captaining your cruise ship? Oh, and Lucky, make sure the shuffleboard partners are matched up for the tournament this evening. You don't actually think you're back on the cruise ship, do you? And have Mr. Doe page me on the white courtesy telephone. Mr. Doe? Uh, Yes, we've been having spirited afternoon debates all this week. I'll take tea for two in the stateroom. And don't spare the biscuits, they're Mr. Doe's favorites. Lucky, are you starting to get a terrible sense of dread? Yes, but to be fair, I had a rehydrated chalupa for lunch. Thanks for the help, Philippe. Anything for you, Mac. Although, I must say, travel blocking is much more complicated than I thought, if you need a submarine to do it. My friends and I are going to reenact a historical submarine battle. Hi, I'm the friend. And I'm the friend's lover. And I'm their chaperone. And I'm the roommate. Maggie, you never told me you had a roommate. Oh, uh, she didn't? Oh, do not worry, mon frere. We both know Maggie can be quite uh, tight-lipped for a wordsmith, no? <laughs> uh, that's uh, my uh, vet. I have to take this call. Très bon. Let me give the rest of you the grand tour. This is quite a collection. Is that the sub from down Periscope? Oui, oui. You can still smell every ounce of Kelsey Kramer's regret. Dr. Lagrange, what's the matter? The doctor is out. Moldrick? Where's Lagrange? Relax. I mirrored her phone. She's probably at home, splicing together a Rottweiler and a bottle of tank. How did you manage to- Why are you not searching for the missing statue? We are trying to stop the Admiral from flooding the entire Midwest. He's building a new Model Y brain scrambling device. I know. Then you cannot tell me to call off this operation to search for stolen artwork. The Model Y can detect any modern computer or radio signal. He'll spot and torpedo you if you get within a mile of his sum. We'll come up with something. You don't see the big picture. Then make me see it! I can't give you information and risk you running off and telling, oh, I don't know, British intelligence? You have to trust me. And you have to trust me. Skip, 
Muldrake, I am truly sorry. I know we're fighting for the same cause, so I can only wish you luck. Don't do this, Skip. You'll win the battle and lose the war. We won't, because I will never stop fighting. Skip, don't get all shirty, but... Fleep is insisting he has to come with us. Which means we all have to stay undercover. Okay. Uh, also... Remember you said I should tell Philippe I needed a sub for a historical essay? Yes. Well, this is Philippe's antique sub hanger. There's nothing here newer than the Korean War. Except the sub for a Sequest DSV. <sighs> what are our non-fictional choices? The USS Bluegill from World War II, a Korea-era USS Sea Devil. He even somehow got his hands on the USS Alligator from the Civil War. It's Perfect! What? Th there's no radios, computers, or modern equipment on it? Exactly! So to the model-wise sensors, we'll be invisible. Huh. Pretty slick thinking, Agent Granger. All right. I'll tell Philippe. McCrath, wait. There wasn't time earlier, but I... I wanted to let you know I'm moving out. Seriously? I'm going to ask Bowden if I can crash with him until I can get myself set up. I'll pay my share until you find a new roomie... Or maybe you and Philippe No, can... no, do not do that. It's, it's okay, McGrath. I want this for you. For us. You made your feelings on living together clear, and you're too important to me. Come on, let's not keep everyone waiting. What? You... Your selflessness is so annoying! USS Alligator, Captain's Log, August 14th, 2021. We are in hot pursuit of the Admiral's vessel along the Mississippi River. Science officer, report! What do your instruments say? By instruments, I assume you mean looking out the port glass. And they say this river is 90% mud. Keep looking. And I think this port glass is made of lard slathered paper. Navigator? I think we're nearing the Minnesota border. I'm double checking my compass and slide rule. Hell? Ah! Ugh. You okay, Chief? I'm. Trying to turn... Oh, there. We just turned one degree south-southeast. You should probably get an oil can for that steering column. I should probably have never agreed to helm a vessel that's driven by a hand-cranked turbine. Speaking of which... Engineering? For the love of God, I'm hand-cranking as fast as I can! You're doing great, babe! More speed, Bowden! I'm giving her all she's got, Captain! I cannot give her no more! Bonjour! Ah! Military chef Sarah Watt, what are you doing out of the galley? I was just wondering if Maggie wanted to join me for a bit of Roquefort cheese. She can't. Sorry, Philippe. You know how these battle reenactors get. You just scurry back to the galley and we'll catch up soon. Leave the cheese plate. But of course. All right, science officer, keep looking for the enemy vessel. Ugh, there's catfish all over my port glass. Just tap it. Get off, suckers. Okay, they're leaving. Oh, shit, hard right! Come about 30 degrees! 30? Here, I'll help! Ugh, next time, we got a submarine with power steering! You're good. Ugh. Full stop? Full stop! Oh, thank God. We're right alongside the Admiral. He doesn't look like he's taking defensive action. It worked! He can't see us! Time for the away team! Very good. I'll take myself, Gloria, McGrath, and. I call away team duty! Someone else take engineering! No takesies backsies! Bye! Fine! Zelda, Sandy Bottom said the British would be watching us. Now, they can't track the alligator in traditional ways, unless they somehow got a tracking device on board. I'll go room by room, deck by deck. We have to operate under the assumption that Bottom's warning is true. If you don't hear from us in an hour, the British are coming. Swabby! Mr. Balthazar, sir! The Admiral has been, uh... Out of sorts. So be a good lad and let me know if you notice anything unusual. Sir, yes, sir. I'll let you know the second anything unusual happens. Good man. I'll be in the tanning salon. Huh. A blowtorch burning through the hall. I wonder if this counts as unusual. <laughs> Clear. You sure your little barnacle sub is going to keep the hull intact? It's airtight on both ends. What part of me being a genius don't you grasp? Did we really have to wear the Mr. and Mrs. Hooper masks? Can't have them recognizing us. At least not until we've got our hands on the Model Y. We? This is my ticket back to the EMF, not to deliver a brainwashing device into your hands. <laughs> Hold on, what do I get out of it? I look the other way as you sneak out the back door. That's the deal, got it? Yeah, I got another deal in mind. <laughs> eh? Oh, is that the taser device you installed on my wetsuit? 
Ah, crap. When you install a taser, make sure your intended victim doesn't know about it, darling. Like this. Ah! (laughs) Yeah, see, I knew you'd find it and try to turn the tables, so I reprogrammed yours. Damn it. Thanks for once again letting me look at all your intel for a whole year, but... I cut a deal with my contact, Muldrake, to stop Skip Granger's British-funded EMF mission. I'll say hi to my dad for you. What? Is that another blow to <laughs> And ha! <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Okay, we're clear, team. Go! You were right, McGrath. Your tahini is keeping the hole perfectly intact. Told you you can't survive without this stuff. <gasps> Look out, Skip! There's someone here. Get him, Gloria! No, no, wait, 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 wait. It's... Uh, Mr. Hooper. Are you kidding me? Mr. Hooper, what on earth are you doing here? We we knew this was a dangerous mission in the submarine, so you'd need an expert. On what? On, you know, submarines. Uh. They're just like boilers. They use water. They make weird noises. They act up. We we got in through their garbage disposal. (laughs) Freeze! It's just Mrs. Hooper, right? (sighs) Mrs. Hooper? What? Uh, yeah! Uh, Mrs. Hooper, totally here for the mission. Maybe they should wait on the alligator. And have them blabbing to Philippe about how we're spies? Bad idea. They'll have to come with us. To the bridge! Oh, <laughs> Oh, come about first, meet Les Marker. Aye, aye, sir. You know, we could have sent this signal halfway around the world. Why did we have to come oh, here? Why? I spent my celebrated childhood on these very banks. On the day I was born, I won the trophy for catching the biggest fish in America. I was also the Gerber Baby. Is it me, or is he descending even further into mania? Just happy to be back in his old hometown, I guess. Did you know I was born on the hyphen between Minneapolis and St. Paul? Yes, that's another thing. Aren't you the one who's always slandering landlocked states? You may have noticed that no coast reaches Minnesota. A misfortune which I fully intend to rectify within the hour. A happy side effect to my true purpose. Isn't that right, Mr. Doe? <laughs> Look, Lesmarker, I have no love for the middle of this country. I've toured with the Fantastics. But his recklessness is going to be his undoing, and we'll go with him. You think he's going to hurt himself? Just wait for my signal, and we'll subdue him, and lock him in the brig until he's no longer insane. Prepare the Model Y for transmission. Tonight, we feast on raw carp, just like my mother used to regurgitate into my mouth. Oh, those were the days. It's just the Admiral, Balthazar, and Lucky on the bridge. And the Model Y is right there. We've got him outnumbered, two to one. Great. I'll go give that admiral a whack and take care of everything. And I'll get the computer. (laughs) No, you won't. Just watch me, darling. Hoopers, shh. McGrath is going on the bridge to prep the Model Y to send out the anti-brainwashing signal. Is part of saving our friendship getting me killed? What if they catch on to what I'm doing? Give us the signal and we'll all charge the admiral, giving you the time you need. Here, take my handkerchief. Gross, Skip. It's my emergency semaphore hanky. It's clean. Drop it if you need us to attack. We've got you. All right, all right. Let me put on a snap face mask so they don't recognize me. All right. This is our chance to save your beloved admiral from himself. Are you in? We always hurt the ones we love the most. Computer technician Coral reporting as ordered, ah, sir. Ah, very good, Swabby. Prepare the Model Y. Is that Swabby, Chloe Kardashian? Is the signal ready to broadcast? Almost, Admiral, sir. It just needs a moment. Say, you're hitting an awful lot of buttons. You wouldn't be reprogramming my beautiful machine, would you? Oh, no. I've dropped my special handkerchief. Allow me to retrieve it for you. Mackenzie McGrath. What? Uh, Apprehend uh, the uh, EMF. Uh, Freak. Uh, what? Uh, what? Uh, what? Uh, what? Yeah, no. Stop it. Uh, uh, Where were all of you hiding in this tiny hallway? They were the hallway. A classic uh, move. I should have uh, seen it. Emil would be so disappointed. Easy there. My wife and I are just innocent bystanders. We thought this was a Disney cruise. The service here is terrible. Unlikely. Chet and Athena. Chet and Athena? Guards, 
shackle them all! Ah, to think my brother, my own flesh and blood, would try and harm your blessed head, Admiral. A nice try, Balthazar, but it takes a traitor to know a traitor. <laughs> Next time, don't make your plans in a stage whisper. Shackle Moncrief and Lucky as well. <laughs> Shackles all around! Excuse me, sir! I don't understand. How did you know? My water-blessed psychic abilities grow exponentially as we inch ever closer to ground zero of my origin. Well, ask a stupid question. Kneel before me, my failed assassins. My ascension to supreme power is at hand. Ha <laughs> That's it. I've looked everywhere. If there's a tracker on this rust bucket, it's well hidden. What is hidden? Jesus! You scared me! What are you doing out of the galley? I have wood stove omelets. Pardonnez-moi, madame, but uh, where is everyone? They're, um, invading a Confederate ship. (laughs) I don't think that happened in any real battle. Excuse me, we're Americans. We'll believe whatever version of history we like. Is this the uh, Confederate vessel out the paper port glass? Yes. Ah, looks like uh, TR 1700 class from the 1980s. Oh, beautiful. Shame we have to sink here. What? Ugh, I searched every inch of this ship, except you. Hi, come on! <laughs> well, well met, Section Chief. Truth, we're on the same team. <laughs> You're a British agent? Well, Felice. <laughs> but I am. Tanya Martin Edwards Bainbridge? UK national ski team? Well, being a gold medalist is just my day job. I'm also MI6. So your appearance in Switzerland during the Admiral's Summit... ...was no coincidence. Nor were my roles as a rabbit trainer in Sweden, a waiter at Oliver's Garden in Indiana, or Briny Wayne at the New Boa Hotel. You know, I actually crossed paths with your agents last year at the Renaissance Fair as Queen Elizabeth. God damn it, I trusted Bottoms. He said he'd buy us time. He did. I'm with Sandy. He got me this assignment. I will have to signal my government, but I'll give Skip as much time as possible. Or I would have if you hadn't knocked me on my posterior and acted the tracking device. Call Sandy. Tell him it's a false alarm. I don't have a comm device. I couldn't risk detection. What's going on? The Admiral's sub is moving. This is a disaster twice over. Not only is the Admiral getting away, but now the missile strike is only going to hit us. When Skip sets off the Model Y, and he will, they can target the sub from the signal source. If you have any way of communicating that to Sandy, I'm open to suggestions. They're locking on us from space? With visuals? Yes. Help me get this frickin' periscope up. <laughs> oh, Periscope up. How's your Morse code? I took silver in Rio. Of course you did. Okay, get that bullseye lantern. I can't believe it, but Skip's Morse code birthday party is finally going to pay off. Dot, dash, dot. Dot, dash, dot. <laughs> oh, there, there, Lucky. You were obviously led astray by the traitor Balthazar's handsome wiles. Do you renounce your mutiny and promise not to do it again? I do, sir. Thy mercy is without doubt. Then back to the helm, number one. Steer us to glory. As close to shore as you can get us. Triple speed. A triple speed, sir. You're going to blow this jalopy to pieces, you idiot. Shh. They're going to blow themselves up. Let them do it. I'd prefer not to be on board when it happens. Oh, knock it off, you two. We've all screwed this up. Phillips, if your country and planet ever meant anything to you, you should be prepared to go down with this ship. (sighs) Agreed. Really? Oh, yes. Natural 20 charisma check. I don't understand how you two are even alive. The Admiral threw you off a helicopter into a volcano. Listen, Montcrief, when you've lived as long as I have, you can survive in the most inhospitable environments on Earth. My wedding dress was made of heat-proof Kevlar, and we got tangled up in it on the way down. I don't understand why you became our landlord. To help you, we've been behind the scenes trying to keep you safe. I don't believe that for a second. It doesn't matter. 
Once again, we filed each other's plans up, and now we're shackled and useless. Oh, what huh. my goodness. McGrath, how did you... Remote controlled shackles. Cool in principle, vulnerable to Bluetooth. We can bum rush him again. No, he's eerily wary now. He'll see us coming a mile away. We need a coordinated effort. But first of all, I need something that only Chet Phillips can do. Now you're talking. Admiral, Mr. Doe here really wants to talk to you right now. Say what? Why, of course. I, I oh, no, Mr. Doe. Jeez. Okay. Yeah, Admiral, how you been? Mm. Mr. Doe. Athena? I'm in this plan? You'll have to boost the Model Y's range while McGrath reprograms it with Lagrange's signal. Are you crazy? You're not letting her near that thing. Athena, do you want the world out of Oceanologist's control or not? Can I laugh in the Admiral's face when we're done? Absolutely. Best mission ever! Gloria, you have to take down Lucky. Oh, I love a rematch! Bowden, I'll need a vocal distraction. The Admiral needs to think he's getting a visit from an old sailing buddy. Understood? I'm scripting dialogue in my head as you speak. And those crates will prove the perfect cover. Hey, Skip, you do remember the British are going to strike this sub any minute, right? Yes. Unfortunately, unless someone knows a way off of this boat... We're all going down with it. Leave that to me. What? what? I shall pull for the hatch key from Fletcher's bunk. Despite my previous errors in judgment, in my heart, I know it is my patriotic duty to help in this war effort. You're a rat deserting a literal sinking ship trying to avoid a five million year prison sentence. Still better than being a sitcom actor. Why, you? It's our best shot, Bowden. Uh, Everyone ready? Ready. ready. Bowden, Balthazar, go. go. Going. going. Jinx. And Damn if you're driving this sub at top speed, you're gonna drown us all. No, no, Mr. Doe. No applause is necessary. <clears throat> More power, Lucky. We must reach our destination before uh, sending the signal. Sir? I'm getting some instrument warnings. <laughs> Mr. Doe agrees that we will truly go down in the history of naval engineering. You're we- a genius, Admiral. What did you say, Athena? Nothing. I heard you. It's not I me. I said huh? you were a genius, I mean, it, it's Trixie, but I'm not saying it. Trixie? God, this is stupid. Is, is that you? Where are you? Well, I'm freaking out a little here. <gasps> Move and you're dead, Lucky. Crap, <laughs> Athena, get to the Model <laughs> Y, upload the antidote. <laughs> Chet, keep talking. Uh, hey, Trixie, good to hear your voice again. Aw, love you too, Sugar Sponge. Yeah, yeah, Trixie, uh-huh. Come on. where are you? Come out, Trixie, wherever you are. I've got the thumb drive loading. Post a signal booster. Powering up. We've got coverage of the Midwest, America, Western Hemisphere. Trixie. We just need a little longer. Enough hide and seek, Trixie. Show yourself! Hiya! Sugar sponge. Charlatan! Trickery! Another duplicitous Moncrief! Stay away from my machine, you land-loving louses! Skip! Athena, watch it! Hands off my machine, Athena! No way, you... The control device. Give it to me. Don't do it, Athena! And I shall let you live under Xerox's new world order. Deal. Here. Yes! Uh, Athena, you poisonous uh, snake! Uh, We're in position, uh, boss! Your failure is complete, EMF! Let the ocean reclaim the land! Now! <laughs> uh, the old taser switcheroo never gets old. Here's the real controller. Send the signal. Got it. Uh, 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 Funky. Did the oh. signal go out to the whole world? We'll know soon enough. Well, something happened. I think we did it. What the, I- the incoming British missiles? Typical bottoms. Brace yourselves. Bottoms up! Oh. 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 We're hit! Oh. Everyone, oh. abandon ship! There's no way out oh. unless someone has the key to the top hatch! Hey, right on cue! Oh. The top hatch is open! Fly! Run for a team! Oh. Oh. Ranger. Stay away from my roommate! Come on, we gotta go. Thanks, Mara. I'm okay. Let's go! Bowden and I will hold off the Admiral! I can't believe I'm agreeing with him, but yes, go! Bowden, be careful! Brother, look out for that derriere for! What's a derriere for? 
Paul Landigon. Damn it. I taught you that joke and I was six years old. Sorry, brother. The EMF is going to need a new actor and who better than me who tried so valiantly to save your life. You won't be around to see just how well I can cry on command. I tried to save him, Gloria, but he didn't make it. Perhaps she'll need some comforting. You community theater has been! Adieu, mon frère. <laughs> Join me, Mr. Dog. Let me go of me, you insane water buffalo! Balthazar, <laughs> give me your hand. Uh, whoa! <sighs> Don't leave me, brother! Breathe in the mighty river, Mr. Dog. No! He was like 104 by his own account. He was a dire threat to humanity. We can only hope Lex and Lagrange's signal worked. Skip, there's no sign of Chet or Athena. I lost them in the chaos. Do you think they're dead? Mm. Eh, they've been dead before. Yeah, sounds about right. Look! The USS Alligator is surfacing! Skip! Zelda, I'm here! What's the word? The word is success! Woo! We're coming ashore. Here, let me give you a hand. All right. Hello, Skip. <gasps> Whoa. Tanya Martins Edwards Bainbridge? UK National Ski Team? MI6, actually. What the hell? Where's Philippe? Why are you wearing his clothes? Terribly sorry, Miss McGrath. The real Philippe saint Renoir is spending six weeks at a therapeutic retreat for guilty billionaires. What? Wait, how long have you been here? Oh, not to worry. Just since the sub hangar. Uh, forgive the deception. Excuse me, I have to check in with Sandy. Hmm, now where? She really wears that suit well. People are awakening from their oceanologist-induced stupors worldwide. Governments are rushing to address their people. Pat is telling the powers that be that they can thank the EMF. Welcome back to the light of day, folks. Hey, wait. Where did Bowden go? He said he was calling his agent. Now? I think he needed a moment alone. I know he and Balthazar were never close, but to see his own brother drowned... I don't know how he's going Great to be... Great to have you back from the world of oceanology, Gary. Oh. Oh, well, have you tried Harry Krishna? Uh, gotta go, Gary. What a perfect day on the locks of the old Mississippi, eh? Who wants to go get ice cream without having to hide our faces? Mm, I think he's over it. Oh, okay. Let's turn Lucky over to the proper authorities and then... <laughs> Ice cream for everyone. <laughs> Superman ice cream for our rainbow spring for me. Okay, take your seat, sir. We'll be leaving St. Paul momentarily, then on to Minneapolis, and all points in between. That's a little uh, bus driver humor there. Where are you headed? Just keep driving. All right, don't have to tell me twice, bud. <laughs> Hello, darling. Where are you headed, Mr. Hooper? Parts unknown. How about you? South. Why? What's south? Let me put someone on the line who you might want to talk to. So the good guys won, huh? I don't want to talk to you, Muldrake. The Admiral's dead. The oceanologist's lost. Did they? Cut off the head and two new ones grow. You have to cut out the heart. Go cry on Skip Granger's shoulder. Granger kicked me out of his play group. Now that all his old friends are back, the danger is greater than ever. I need all of the help I can get. I need... (sighs) Chad Phillips. (laughs) Hell yeah, you do. So... Our fake landlords were unmasked as enemy operatives, and our toilet was spying on us. I try to warn you about that smart toilet. I just figured it was Tim Cook listening. Well, the EMF is officially back on the redacted books. You start tomorrow as an official agent in training. And I guess you'll be my trainer? Ah, no. I thought I'd give that honor to Special Agent Gloria Kovac. Really? I wasn't sure how you'd feel about us working together right now. Skip, we just saved the world. We're working together just fine. I'm glad you think so. That's why I'm moving out. 
before that changes too. You made it clear back in Mellencamp that you felt trapped here. Like this was a prison. It was a prison. Yes. That's why I think it's best if I- Skip, it was a prison. Thanks to the oceanologists, I couldn't leave except to go on missions. Which wasn't great after spending two years in an actual prison. I understand that we'd have more space now, but the underlying issues? My compulsive rulemaking, stop, my stop. budget demands- Stop, Listen my... to me. Let's go a little easy on ourselves, okay? This was not a normal year, and this was not a normal living situation. I'm actually free now. That's going to change things. But does it fix them? Of course not. I'm an anarchist. You live for rules. I'm a slob. You're obsessive about organization. You always want to talk. And I shut off from people as soon as it gets difficult. Kid, we got problems. But give us a chance to deal with them in a normal world. Together. McGrath, I'm sorry I couldn't give you the space you need. I'm sorry... I'm sorry I couldn't tell you what I was feeling without hurting you. So, are you still moving out? Well, honestly, that depends. On? On whether or not you think this new extra plain yogurt tahini smoothie I just made would go better with Funyuns. Come here. No. Mm. <laughs> I'll get the Funyuns. Mission Rejected was created and produced by Pete Barry, J. Michael DeAngelis, and John Downing. This episode was written and directed by Pete Barry and J. Michael DeAngelis. It starred Chris Klonecki as Skip Granger, Nasa Sarkai as Mackenzie McGrath, Dave Stanger as Bowden Moncrief, Paige Klonecki as Gloria Kovac, Faith Dalgan as Section Chief Zelda Anders, with Kirk White as Chet Phillips and Kevin McGrath as the Mission Boys. Also starring Ashley Banks as Athena O'Brien, Jill Ivey as Lex Hammond, and Bob Killian as Security Guy and The Admiral. Guest starring Karen Yang as Dr. Carol Lagrange. John Dowgan as Joe the Plumber. Dave Surface as Sandy Bottoms. Eric Werner as Balthazar Moncrief. Rebecca Surface as Lucky. Tage Das as Philippe Saint Renoir. Raymond Morse as Swabby Ruck. And Kirsty Wolven as Tanya Martin Edwards Bainbridge. Music, sound editing, and mixing by Pete Barry. Want to talk about the show with other fans? Care to hobnob with the cast and crew? Listen to special episode commentaries and even sit in on episode recordings. You know, really hear how the sausage gets made? Join our Discord channel and get in on the fun. You probably won't get to chat with me, of course, but I'm there. Watching. Always watching. This has been a Portrait Production, copyright 2021, Extraordinary Missions Limited. <laughs> yes, Mr. Doe. Just ahead, Mr. Doe. <laughs> Don't you worry, Mr. Doe. <laughs> Here it is. I told you, my childhood home. Not much more than a humble shack, but what a chick hatched forth from such an egg. <laughs> Ah, uh, 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 yes. Ah, uh, uh, you, you miss the great feasts my mother would cook, Mr. Doe, as she raised 17 squalling children. Little did she suspect that I, the 17th son of a 17th son, would be destined for such greatness. Ah, uh, 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 I hid it here years ago, Mr. Doe. <laughs> the answer to my... <laughs> Aha! The statue of mighty Neptune. A work of art worth millions. Stolen over 70 years ago. Crafted from the stone of a fallen meteorite. <laughs> Inside. Charged by the burst of energy those EMF fools released from the model Y. How oh, it surges with power. Was this I can see beyond the known universe and touch the very mind of Xerox? It's spectacular. Is this a phantom before me? Are you an emissary of Xerox? Or, or are you truly Chet Phillips? No, Admiral. 
I'm not Chet. Don't you recognize me? It's your old friend, Mr. Doe. Ha, 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 ha,